So to start off, you are going to need a spoolie brush, a brown eye pencil, some concealer, and a damp beauty blender. Also, I am using the Morphe M432 brush to carve out my eyebrows, but you can use any angled flat brush to carve out your eyebrows. So I'm going to go ahead and brush my eyebrow hairs straight up. And then I'm going to start filling them in with my eyebrow pencil. So I'm just using short strokes and I'm just going along my natural eyebrow. So I'm not going to create something that's not there. I am just outlining what's already there. My tail isn't that thick, so I did have to add more on the end. And I am just carving out my eyebrow. And this part right here, you kind of want to create, I guess, like a M. It's not like a MM, but like a halfway M. So that you get like a, a arch at the top as well. So now I'm just going straight up with my eyebrow pencil to make hair like strokes all throughout my eyebrow. I am doing this kind of lightly because I'm not wearing any makeup today, but um, you can add it according to how you like it, depending on if you're wearing makeup or if you aren't wearing makeup. So I usually do it lighter when I'm not wearing foundation and then darker when I do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start on the other eyebrow. I fill both of my eyebrows in first and then I go back with the concealer. So I'll go back later in the video and conceal the other eyebrow as well. So you just wanna make sure that you are taking your time with your brows. It's not something that you want to rush through and do. So definitely take your time, get the feel of your natural eyebrow and just trace it like you're drawing on a piece of paper. You just trace what's there. Um, so I am filling in my tail where it's thin and then I'm also once again using hair like strokes to fill in this eyebrow as well. So now I'm going to take my spoolie and kind of brush the product into my eyebrow. Um, when you fill in your brows, if you just leave it there, it can look like it's clumped up. So definitely make sure that you're going back with your spoolie brush and you are combing that product through your actual hairs. So now I'm going to go in with my Pro Girl Concealer in the color Warm Honey just to carve out my brows. I'm doing short strokes and I am just outlining my eyebrow. This part, you also want to make sure that you take your time um, and carve out your eyebrow. It's okay if you mess up because you can go back and correct it with the concealer. But using concealer just makes your eyebrow appear so much more precise and sharp and it just looks cleaner. So as you can see, once I turn my head, you'll see the difference. Um, with one eye being concealed and then the other not concealed. It just looks way cleaner. And remember when doing your eyebrows, your eyebrows are sisters, they're not twins, so it's okay if they're not exactly the same. Um, no one's eyebrows are exactly the same naturally, so while filling them in, you know, one eyebrow may be shaped this way, then this eyebrow may be shaped that way. There is a way that you can make them perfect, but they don't have to be the exact same. So keep that in mind. So now I am taking my damp beauty blender and I am just blending out all of that concealer up under my eye and above my eye. I like to dampen my um, beauty blender because it just makes blending out the concealer a lot better. Well, a lot easier rather. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the exact same thing to this other eye.
so after I um, blend the concealer in with my beauty blender I like to go in and further blend so I take a clean eyeshadow brush and I just kind of sweep it and tap the concealer into my skin I also like to go um, in the front of my eyebrows and kind of shade my eyebrows because I don't like them to look extremely harsh right there in the beginning so definitely make sure that you are doing this step when you do your eyebrows because you don't want harsh eyebrows so that is it i hope you dolls enjoyed this tutorial